This week's Pilch Point with Abram Pilch is proudly powered by PureVPN. The best way to protect your privacy online is with PureVPN. You can hide your online activities, say goodbye to regional restrictions, and improve your streaming quality. Plus, it's available for almost all of your devices. And you can get a special price and a 31-day money-back guarantee by going to pilchpoint.live slash purevpn. All right, Abram. We've got all kinds of hardware stuff going on right now, right? Current, future. Past. Yes. <laughs> yes. So there's a lot going on. Um, despite the fact that a lot of people have been at home for uh, working from home and going out less um, the last many months, uh, things are still heating up in the hardware space with a lot of new hardware coming out. So uh, just a few, and I'm talking about PCs here, but I could also talk about consoles uh, because we know that we know that the new Xbox and the new PlayStation, the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5 are going to be out around November and they will be using new AMD graphics cards inside, uh, which is interesting because we are also expecting uh, some new AMD graphics cards to be announced for the PC later this month. Um, those are going to be called, the unofficial name of those is Big Navi or whatever, but the the leaked um, names of the cards are likely to be uh the leaks suggest that the names of the cards are likely to be uh radeon rx 6900 6800 and 6700 uh and uh they should be really fast but can't really say for sure yet <laughs> uh but but what we do know is really fast are the new nvidia cards and we've talked uh on and off about the surging demand for these so it was just a couple of weeks ago that the that Nvidia um, rolled out the RTX 3080, um, and the demand for the RTX 3080, an ostensibly seven to eight hundred dollar card, um, it is so high that now. If you want one, the main place you can get it is eBay from a scalper for fifteen or sixteen hundred dollars easily, uh, or more, um, because these cards deliver higher performance than the previous top of the line, the the twenty eighty Ti, uh, and then Nvidia came out with a thirty ninety, their expensive, super expensive fifteen hundred dollar card. Uh, the fifth, this card is also sold out everywhere. And if you want one, you can find it on eBay for three to four thousand dollars. Now, Jeez. what's why this is happening is there's just a lot of bots out there, uh, and people are paying for bot services to speculate and buy these up. But, um, interestingly, just today, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Wong was asked during a Q&A because NVIDIA is having a conference now, the GTC, um, whether uh, when the supply is going to get better. And he said it's not a supply problem, it's a demand problem, that there's so much demand for these new cards. And they haven't even come out with the 3070, which is going to be the 499 card that is supposed to, you know, even be faster than the previous gen top of the line 2080 ti card but there's a good chance for people who want those cards that the situation won't get a lot better until a new year i mean they should keep trying and in tom's hardware we have a page called where to buy the rtx 3090 3080 and 3070 where we give you links to all the places where you might be able to buy one or sign up for an in-stock alert but when something's in stock Wow, it's gone really fast. Um, so, what we're so what we know from both AMD and Nvidia is they're 
this is a trying time to buy a graphics card because, uh, or to buy a new computer with a graphics card in it, because the old gen cards like the 2000 series from, uh, from NVIDIA or the, um, the Radeon, you know, RX 57, 58, and 5900 um, XT cards are still on the market, but we know that these faster cards are either already out, but you can't get them, or coming very soon. So it's it's a tough time because the price on the cards they're displacing hasn't dropped significantly yet. Um, and may and may not because NVIDIA is really just trying to phase those old cards out. If you're looking for a, a budget or a mid-range card, like one of the GTX 1660 uh, Super, which I used in my $800 PC build that we talked about a few weeks ago, uh, that's those are still available for decent prices, like 230 bucks. Um, but if you're looking for, you know, a more premium card, you, the, the advice might be to to wait it out and see if you can get one um if you possibly can wait it out uh speaking of speaking of waiting it out we also see um some things going on in, with um with laptops so the new um newest laptops now all have intel 10th generation tiger lake uh that's they're called no, actually 11th generation tiger lake processors um, definitely, um, there have been a couple out already. We've tested them. The graphics performance is if you, you know, if, if you're buying something that's not a gaming notebook, you're buying something, you know, with integrated graphics only the gaming performance, the, the, the graphics is much better than ever before. And the overall performance is really, really strong. Um, on on the different tiger lake laptops that are coming out we know you know that all the vendors pretty much are releasing new laptops and, and along with it they're also coming with uh thunderbolt 4 for the first time um which is uh going to have very slight improvements over thunderbolt 3. so um so we see we see that happening and then we don't know for sure what they're going to announce but uh, but coming up very soon, uh, this week, in fact, uh, AMD is supposed to have an event where they're going to talk about um, they're going to talk about um, the next um, the next desktop CPUs that they have, which are codenamed Zen three, um, and we will we will find out how soon how soon those chips will come out. Um, but that's another thing to kind of keep an eye out for. So there's a lot of new processors coming out. Um, we can't even sleep on Intel at some point releasing its next generation of desktop chips, the Rocket Lake, codename Rocket Lake chips. Um, so there's a lot of new hardware coming out this is a time when obviously we're coming to the holiday season so if you need a system if you want a system it's it's a good time to buy there'll be good deals but there also are new things coming out for people who want things that are on the cutting bleeding edge um they may want to hold out at least hold out to get till they can get something that has an rtx has one of the new NVIDIA RTX cards or uh, when they come out, one of the new AMD cards uh, because those have an unprecedented level of performance for the money. So in general, what we're saying is uh, if you're a, a bleeding edge kind of a fan, now would be a good time to hold off. <laughs> I mean, if you can get it, you know, you sure. What we are seeing is that you may have a better chance of getting a system with the RTX 3080 in it than buying the card. So if you want to buy a pre-built desktop, you may find some pre-built desktops with, with, with them.
easier way. Um, not an easy way, it may be an easier way. But yes, it's it's a challenge, and the challenge may continue for for quite a while until stock normalizes it. Whether it's a demand problem because demand is so high, or a problem of people scalping it, or uh, or the company's not producing enough, is anybody's anybody's guess. But the end result is the same. Uh, it's hard to get a hold of some of these things, and this is all the same thing is happening with the consoles. I think people are, you know, some people managed to get in on the pre-orders for the new Xbox um, and, you know, for PlayStation, but those are also going to be very difficult to come by. Yeah, for sure. Uh, like we've talked about uh, over the past couple of weeks, both Microsoft and Sony saw big pre-order uh, inventory issues. Uh, Sony's was a little stranger because of the way they set themselves up uh, with retailers just going live when they wanted to. But um, uh, but yeah, it seems like all of the all of the computing pre-orders have been disastrous and like we've talked about, it probably has a lot to do with with these bots, though you know it's a it's a three point thing and it <laughs> it shifts around whether it's demand supply or um or bots uh different ones have you know lean a little harder one way or another but i think all three of them uh play in in all of these especially with supply you know manufacturing being a bit of an issue in 2020 yeah that's that's definitely played uh, part in all of this as well. So uh, you said you've got you've got uh, availability lists on the website. We've got yes. So I think the best place to go, particularly if you want a video card, come to Tom's Hardware, and we've got an article called "Where and How to Get an uh, RTX 3090, 3080, or 3070 Card." Uh, we have all the links in there to where you might get it, even to getting it on eBay. Uh, if you if money is absolutely no object to you, um, but um, other than the, but you know we will give you the best advice on how you to put yourself in the best position to get it. But uh, it's it's really it's really difficult right now to to get those cards. Hopefully it clears up a little bit uh, or it could end up being like webcams. <laughs> Who knows Yeah, this where just... webcams have been, you know, late. Uh, they were, you couldn't get a webcam for the longest time. I mean, you couldn't get a name brand. You couldn't get any webcam for a while. Then the market seems to have recently been flooded with a lot of third party web, not third party. They're all third, a lot of sort of no name brand webcams that no one's that, nobody's heard of. And then a Logitech, which is the big player in the space, you finally start to see some Logitech uh, listings for some Logitech webcams, but they come, they, they come and they go very quickly. And, and obviously in Logitech's so, case, you know, I think it could end up being like that. Obviously in Logitech's case for good reason, because they, they own the webcam space. Yeah, I mean they. I mean, they do, but I mean the shortages of these Nvidia cards are, in a sense, in in their space. I mean, Nvidia right now owns the high end. Mm -hmm. There's no AMD chip that can compete with those chips. They don't even support ray tracing. Maybe the, the next gen. So even if the card is not Nvidia's first party brand, if you buy a card with an RTX 3090 or 3080 in it, Nvidia made you know, Nvidia made the chip, so mm -hmm. the GPU. So that's um, you know, in a sense, they're also are dominating the market. But yeah, I think what's happened with webcams is people have realized that they're doing a lot more meetings and they want a good quality webcam, not the not the garbage that comes on your laptop. There's almost no uh, computer that has built in laptop. Yeah. They're they're all pretty bad. Yeah, and then 
for some people, they go and damage them, and it all looks like the last season of Full House. I'm uh, talking about one of our. <laughs> uh, I'm talking about one of our hosts, Marissa, who uh, managed to dent her uh, her built-in webcam, and so everything has this bizarre soft focus to it until she gets right to the edge of the screen, and then it clears up. <laughs> that that's weird my my webcam has been broken pretty much since i got it got this laptop two years ago and you know i never wanted to bother to send it in to get fixed because i just wanted to be without it for a few weeks and i just almost never use the webcam every now and again though i'll be sitting on the couch or something and wish that i had the built-in webcam just Uh for that kind of occasion but um the quality is just not not very good yeah the uh the quality of the quote unquote webcam on my uh on any of my phones is better than the one including my phone from Microsoft uh, yeah. is better than the webcam on my computer from Microsoft yeah they just don't they just don't try they don't yeah. even really try I mean if companies spend like that would be something that a company could really crow about like look we've got a really good webcam on our laptop and especially now Mm -hmm. they don't try yeah today in particular they could they could really differentiate themselves from the pack if they had a decent webcam built in just even decent webcam (laughs) built in versus the absolute garbage that is on most laptops at least we've gotten away from the the uh up the nose webcams uh, what a stupid idea. Anyway, poor quality and weirdly placed. Anyway, um, obviously, uh, we're seeing, like we're saying, we're seeing a lot of a lot of hardware shortages, and then new products coming. Which, like we said, honestly, like we said when when uh, the Sony pre-order thing happened, we said anytime a new product comes out, things get a little weird. And one of the weird things is that you can't always get a hold of them at launch. And right now it's worse than ever. So uh, definitely check out Tom's Hardware for uh, for some some places that you can get it. And as always, Avram, I, uh, I appreciate the topic and I look forward to what we talk about next.